It's dessert day on Two Crazy Ketos, so we're going to have some ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream right, right after, after this. this. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. You're on Two Crazy Ketos. We do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we're a little loopy today. It's been a long day. We've been filming a vlog. I've been experimenting with different recipes. I'm trying to come up with a cornbread that actually tastes like cornbread. Yeah, and I mean, we go back and forth. And then the boys just had us cracking up because a lot of times we're, you know, we're trying to decide what we're going to do for an intro. It's like, well, what should we say here? And you said like... We're about to have ice cream. And I'm like, what is my response to that? And Caleb is in the background going like, heck yes, we are. Like, let's do it. So I ran to the store to get some ingredients to, again, try to make a cornbread because Thanksgiving is coming up. And I found this. It's one of the new flavors of a Rebel ice cream. It is the coconut almond swirl flavor. Isn't that just like us to go for cornbread ingredients and come home with ice cream? Ice cream. And I just realized it matches my shirt so you can't even really like see it in there. Oh yeah, well that's funny because this is like green and that's kind of yellowy. Okay, so again, this is the coconut almond swirl. We have not tried this flavor. I know it's one of the new flavors. No. And I'm super excited about it. So if you're new to our channel, we review all our products based on five things. We do, it's called the five thing review. And what we're going to do, no, we're going to do that afterwards. Oh, oh, I'm so ready. What we're going to do is we're going to taste it, and then we're going to put it through our five things review. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I need a preemptive high five. Preemptive high five. Okay. So there's a little thing in here. It says, yummy. Yummy things come to those who wait for the creamiest ice cream. Let your pint soften for about 15 minutes, which we have done. Yes. It's, and that's usually the way it is with any kind of keto ice cream, right? You got to let it wait. Look at that. That's not sad. This was kind of like an unexpected review too. Like I just walked into the room and I said, hey, if you want ice cream, you got to film a video first. Clearly. So. Like, so I got up and we're ready. I'm coming right out. Okay. So that's what it looks like. If it'll focus. Look at that. That looks so awesome. <laughs> it's got junk in Wait, it. Wait, why am I not holding a spoon? Okay. Probably could have used a little bit more defrosting. We're going to have to go around the outside. That's all right. Looks like that's where all the junk is. Okay. You know, I like junk in my ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, probably could have used uh, like 10 more minutes. But that's okay. It's all right. You ready? Yep. Oh, my. Mmm. Wow. Wow. So it's definitely a coconut based ice cream. Like instead of it being like vanilla or chocolate, it's coconut. But I am not hating that. That is, wow, that is good. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is amazing. Okay, so now do you want to put this through our five things? Five things. Five, so five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutritional label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Yeah. Okay, so the ingredients, the ingredients in this are cream, water, roasted almonds, which consists of almonds, coconut oil, butter, and salt. Oh, wow. Then you have erythritol. Chicory root fiber, egg yolks, vegetable glycerin, milk protein isolate, cocoa, natural coconut flavoring, butter, salt, vanilla extract, premium carob gum, guar gum, monk fruit, and sunflower lecithin. 
good ingredients and I honestly taste it all. Like I can taste the roasted almonds. Oh like, my gosh. Like it's that, you know, like I'm the still extra got little step. chunks of almond in my mouth. Lots of crunch in there. Yeah, really good. Really good ingredients. The biggest question I know anybody's gonna have is the vegetable glycerin, which is in a lot of products. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a natural product. And what that is is to make it like more soft. Like some people will put alcohol in their ice cream or you can use a glycerin. Oh. No, okay. Well, not like booze. No, well, no, you would put like just a tablespoon or so of like vodka or something. If you're making it at home, that'll huh. help it not get like super hard because alcohol doesn't freeze. Interesting. Okay, so number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Okay, so a serving size is a half a cup. There is four servings in this container or one for Rachel. Yes, thank you. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. We actually, because we only eat ice cream once in a while and at most it's once a week, we usually do a double serving. So this becomes two servings, one for each of us. Yes. Okay, so it is 150 calories per serving. Uh, it is 14 grams of total fat, 7 grams of saturated fat, 3 grams of protein. Wow, that's nice. Then you have 13 total carbs, 4 grams of dietary fiber, 7 grams of erythritol. So that brings it down to how many net carbs? Well, 7 plus 4 is 11. 11. And then to 13, two? so two net carbs. Two net carbs. Two so net four. carbs per serving. So four net carbs if you're eating half So of if we were to eat the entire pint, let's just kind of go over that. The entire pint would be what? Eight. 600 calories. Yeah. It would be, uh, what's 14 times four would be what? 28. It's going to be eight net carbs. Yeah. But I'm talking, we're talking about the fat first. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So 28 times two is 56. So 56 grams of fat. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> 12 grams of protein, and actually on the front, they say it's seven net carbs, but if you want to be safe, we're going to go eight net carbs for the entire pint. Yeah. So that is pretty good keto macros. It really is for something that is so tasty. It's got a nice sweetness to yeah. it. I know we're not to three yet, but... Yeah. So while we're talking about it, so number three, how does it taste? It is delicious. Yes. I was not sure that I would like a coconut-based ice cream. I love coconut. But it's not like sherbet. No. It's ice cream. It's it a, is really creamy. It's a very creamy, rich, sweet, delicious ice cream base. Yeah. And one of the things that I love about Rebel Creamery's ice creams is, yeah, they love to put a lot of junk in it. Not like bad ingredients. We're talking about like Toppings. Yeah, we talk about toppings. When we say junk, we're talking about the toppings. Like chunks of cookie or chunks of nuts or, you know, swirls of peanut butter. They right. put a lot of little extra stuff in. And I don't like just vanilla, just chocolate usually. I like my ice cream with stuff inside of it. Yeah, because then you don't have to put anything on top of it. Right, exactly. So, yeah, tastes really good. Like, I'm enjoying this flavor. Me too. So number four, how much does it cost? Here we go. Okay, well, I got this at our local Publix, mm -hmm. and it was $5.99 a pint. Honestly, I don't think that that's bad at all. Nope, that is on par with all of the non-keto higher-end ice creams. Yeah, because... Like the Talentes and stuff like exactly, that. Exactly, because you cannot compare this to like Breyers or, you know, really cheap, Ice well, that cream. stuff's not even ice cream. Look at the amount of chemicals that's in that yeah, stuff. I mean, you look at these cream. ingredients and it's good ingredients. It's really, really good. And I'm enjoying the accessibility of Rubble. I love yes. being able to just go into my store and pick up one pint. I don't even have to buy five or six pints I can at a time and, you know, take up my freezer room. I can just buy it as I need it. Yeah. So number five, would we recommend this? I absolutely would recommend this. And I'm telling you what, I would recommend it to somebody who doesn't normally reach for coconut. Really? Yeah, because this is surprising to me. If I was in the store and we weren't just trying this because it was a new flavor, I'd probably reach for like peanut butter or cookie dough or something, you know, that you're used to, butter pecan, uh -huh. you know, and I would be like, nah, I don't think I'll like coconut almond as much as I'd like butter pecan, but... This is going to, I think, going to be a reach for for me. I really like this one. I just want to check. I don't remember if I tasted any pieces of coconut in there. 
I think there are, but it's so chunky. They almost start to take on the flavor of more nuts. Yeah, there's some little shreds of coconut in there. I'm really only tasting because I want to have more ice cream, but. <laughs> but they're not like annoying shreds. You know no, they're how not they annoying. Can make it too shreddy. They're small, so they, they yeah. mix really well with the with the almonds. Really surprisingly good. Yeah, so I would absolutely recommend this. Now, we've had three different types of keto ice creams. We've never tried the Mammoth Creameries. But we've had the Killer Creamery, we've had the Rebel Creamery, and we've had the New Enlightened Keto line. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, this is kind of at the top. I like Killer Creamery, but these tend to have more, like we say, junk in them. Yeah. Um, also, they're cheaper at five ninety nine a pint. And now Rebel really is available a lot more in different stores. Not just here in South Florida, but I'm seeing a lot of people... In our forum and places saying that, like, hey, Rebel showed up in my store. And it's just nice to be able to run to the store and buy one instead of having a freezer full. Yeah, because that can be dangerous. And as far as comparing this to Enlightened, I would absolutely put the Rebel over the Enlightened just because of the ingredients. Yes, the Enlightened's going to have a little bit less carbs, like one or two less carbs. And it's super delicious, too. It's good, but it does, like, have some ingredients that some people are questioning, like the soluble corn fiber and stuff. So this is going to have much cleaner ingredients. There you go. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section what your favorite flavor ice cream is. And let us know what the next new flavor of Rebel that we should try is. Yeah, absolutely. When you were growing up, what was your favorite flavor ice cream? Ooh, well, we used to go to Baskin Robbins, and I I could never make my real like choice. So I always would ask my dad, "Can I please have like two or three scoops so I can get like multiple scoops?" But what I always liked was chocolate with peanut butter in it, like chunks of peanut butter. That's what I really liked as a kid. Wow, I was probably an Oreo cookie girl. Really? So I look forward to maybe them incorporating more cookies in some of these ice creams in the yeah. future. Now, when I was in Publix, I also noticed they had like keto a cookies, cherry obviously. one. Yeah, keto cookie. They had a cherry one in Publix, so maybe we're going to have to try that one next. Yeah, because you know I miss chocolate-covered cherries. Yeah. So like I said, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye. It's dessert day on Two Crazy Ketos. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? F yeah, it is. <laughs> what did you say? I said, what am I supposed to say? And he goes, F yeah, it is. <laughs> it's dessert day on Two Crazy Ketos, so we're going to have... <laughs> Come on, before it melts. <laughs>